Hello everyone. So we are at the very last step of our journey. Uh, so we want to add draft functionality to this end-to-end -end example. And uh, adding draft functionality is fairly simple. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, go into the Eclipse ADT tools. And this is my behavior definition. And uh, in the previous code itself, I had uh, added code, but I had uh, commented it out for the draft functionality. Uh, the very first thing we want to do is we want to uh, add the word with draft. Uh, so this uh, behavior definition file, uh, this is the file where we specify all the behaviors of the business object. And it is a one-to-one -one mapping with the business object. Uh, so it has the same name as your interface view. Uh, so go open that file and uh, type in with draft. So this allows support for draft functionality. Now, once you do this, um, it is going to complain uh, saying that we don't have a draft table. Uh, so we need to create a draft table. And creating a draft table is fairly straightforward as well. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, comment this line out, basically saying, hey, this is the draft table that I want you to use, uh, ZDR. You can give any name for this draft table, but uh, this is the name that I gave. Uh, this DR uh, representing draft. Um, so we give this name. Uh, now, this draft table does not exist. Uh, so we just say use this draft table, but this draft table doesn't exist. Uh, so that means we have to go ahead and create this draft table. Uh, so creation of the draft table is fairly straightforward as well. So you see that there is a, an error. Uh, so if you click on it, uh, it gives you the code completion to create this draft table. So you just double click on it. And what it will do is uh, it will create this draft table and it will already know what fields are there because uh, it knows this interface view, this root entity. Uh, so based on that, it will collect all the fields that needs to be used. And it's going to create a draft table for you. Uh, and uh, you don't have to really change anything. And notice that the ID is UUID. Remember I mentioned that this is used for numbering, automatic numbering. Uh, so the system takes care of this ID. And it's pretty much the same fields, exactly the same fields that is there in your interface view. Um, and it has some additional admin related stuff. Uh, and we can take it verbatim. Uh, we don't need to do any changes here. Uh, so I can save this file and I can activate this. Now this will go ahead and create me a draft table. Uh, again, in the draft table, if I open the draft table, uh, there should not be any entries in here uh, because we haven't, we, ha we don't have any entries in the draft table uh, as of yet. So if I do a data preview, uh, this should be empty. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so going back to this um, uh, business uh, behavior definition file, uh, what we have done so far is we have added the with draft and we have also given this uh, draft name here as well. Now, one other thing, there's still this error message and it says, I think this will go away once I try to activate, um, but then uh, there is a warning here, and let's get rid of this warning. Um, so if you're using with draft, um, it says the flag total e tag flag is required. Uh, so let's go ahead and add this total e tag flag here as well. Um, so at this moment, uh, we are good with the draft uh, in the behavior file. Uh, so let me go ahead and activate this. Um, so, so all these changes I have made in the behavior definition file. Uh, now, there is also this concept of behavior projection. Uh, remember, we were not going to project delete. Uh, so we go into this behavior projection file, and we are not uh, projecting delete. And just like we project various things that need to be exposed, uh, we also need um, to project uh, the fact that we are going to use draft. Uh, so what we have to do is we go up here and we say use draft. And this is uh, just like projecting any of the behaviors. Uh, so we are projecting the create behavior. We are create, uh, projecting the update behavior uh, in a very similar manner. 
uh, what we are doing here is we are projecting the draft functionality as well. Uh, we can leave this use e tag. Uh, there are some minor issues, but uh, I think it'll be taken care of by the time uh, we see these videos. Uh, so I think we are good um, as far as enablement of draft is concerned. Uh, so the two files that we would be touching is the behavior definition file, where we say that we want to use draft. We provide the persist uh, draft table. Uh, we also do the local mastery tag and then in the uh, behavior projection uh, we also project draft just like we project other uh, operations to be exposed okay so let me go ahead and expose this as well uh, so at this moment um, everything should be looking good uh, now let me go into my service bindings uh, I have a v2 service out there um, and let me go ahead and see if the draft is enabled here uh, so let me go ahead and preview. And at this moment, uh, we should have draft functionality enabled in our uh, OData service. Uh, so fairly simple to create. And you can see already that there is this new uh, filter bar here um, that says own draft and all of that stuff. Uh, so we know draft is enabled. Um, but let's go ahead and try it out anyways. Uh, let me go ahead and create a uh, user. Uh, I'll say first name, Milton, and so on. And you will see that there is this thing says draft saved. Uh, so we have draft functionality enough. And if I don't save it, if I just go back here, uh, and if I say go, uh, I should see uh, that there is uh, there was already a user here so uh, there is another user here um, from the draft that we just created uh, so we can go ahead and complete this uh, users uh, let's say 23 uh, role as ux lead i'll say, and again you can see it's draft saved i can go ahead and save it and oops oh i'll have to refresh uh, so one thing i have to do is uh, let me do a refresh um, and then it should save uh, completely. Uh, so then let me go ahead and save it. Uh, should save successfully. Okay, so uh, that's the um, that's the uh, rundown on the draft functionality. Uh, very simple to uh, implement. Um, there's only two files that you need to change. Uh, so uh, what we could do is um, we could start the project without draft. And at a later stage, if we do need to add draft functionality, uh, then we go into the behavior definition file and provide uh, and then add these uh, couple of lines for draft functionality and then go into your projection and make sure you project draft. Now, uh, one question I do want to talk about is uh, let's say the base table structure changes. Uh, so you go into this uh, base table and now you've added a few more additional fields based on business requirements. Um, so which means the draft table is no longer in sync with this base table. Uh, so in that case, what do we do, right? Uh, so in that case, it's fairly simple. Uh, if you go into this behavior definition file, uh, there will be this uh, uh, this warning here, and it will allow you to recreate this uh, draft table, and all the, the system will take care of everything. It'll just recreate this draft table, and you should be good to go. Um, so uh, any changes, any future changes, uh, easy to maintain. Uh, you make changes to the base table, uh, just go ahead and make the corresponding changes to the draft table as well. Okay, so that is a wrap up. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, series. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.